Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be going over 11 websites to help find you free textures that you can use in your games for Unreal Engine, Unity, Godot, whatever game engine you want. And you can even use this in videos, movies, and so on. There are some pretty high quality, hyper realistic textures ranging from 1K to 8K resolution. So let's go ahead and get started and go through these 11 websites. Starting with number one, we have textures.com. Textures.com has a free library and you can even click free at the top here to just see all their free content. So they do have a ton of 3D models, but in this video, we'll be going over textures. They have a ton of free variety of textures such as tiles, leather, rope, pavement, all that you can think of for all different types of genres of games, such as if you're making a fantasy game, medieval game, very hyper realistic. And again, this section is free to download and they do also have some paid assets if you wanna check those out. But for the amount of free content that you get, this is a very nice site to look at and they even have brains. Wow, that looks great, okay. And for number two, we have polyhaven.com. And polyhaven over here has a texture section that you can head over to. And there are just a ton of textures that you can download for free on polyhaven. And yeah, these are there's they're some really high quality. They go all the way up to 8K. And let's go ahead and just check this out. It looks like a lot of the stuff I see on Quixel, honestly. And yeah, so you can select 1K, 2K, 4K, 8K, depending on whatever level of optimization you want to do or if you're making cinematics and so on. But yeah, really nice looking textures provided by Polyhaven. Absolutely love the wide variety of textures that you can get from this site. We have Ambient CG. And all the links of the websites I'll be going over are in the description below. So 2,449 free assets. Let's go ahead and hit explore. Tons and tons of HDRIs and textures. And yeah, just a ton and ton of stuff that you can get for free. There's so much free content on textures that people really don't know about. I see people going online to buying textures all the time, but just the amount of free stuff is really all you need to make a game. This is actually insane on how much there is. And of course there are multiple pages and most of them are pretty realistic. They look really, really good. We have sharedtextures.com. So we can head over to the textures over here and oh wow, I really like how this looks. So they already have it um, kind of showing on a cloth. There are multiple fabric ones, which are really good for high realistic capes. I think I'm actually gonna import this to my own project and use this. This looks really, really nice for some cloth armor or just capes in general. They also have a wide variety of metals that you can import. And yeah, these textures go all the way up to 8K. So feel free to check those out. And when you click on one, it showcases all the parts, all the textures that it comes with. So you can easily import this as an Unreal Engine material and just configure this together. Next up is 3D textures. So this one has a lot more unique stuff from what I've seen compared to the other websites. They do look really nice. I really like how this leather armor looks and they have stylized feathers, sci-fi walls and so on. And yeah, these are seamless textures, which is one thing I really like. So there won't be any weird clipping or anything. And yeah, just a ton of very different variety that you normally wouldn't find on the other sites. Like this sand texture, stylized sand texture looks perfect. This is giving me Link's Awakening vibe when you go on the beach and stuff. And yeah, I really like how this looks. And yeah, tons of different variety. They have obsidian, they have thatched roofs, tiles, scales, and so on. Very unique. I really, I really like how this looks. Next up, we have free PBR textures. So free PBR textures, uh, so it's all map types needed to create photorealistic materials. Let's go ahead and browse and you can have resolution from one to 4K here. And you can even search by color category, which is really nice. It's a really easy search function. There's even a guide for Unreal Engine if you are using that or Blender. And yeah, so this is provided to you by CG Bookcase and it'll tell you exactly how to set it up, the compression settings, SRBG, and so on. And yeah, over 500 textures just to go through. Really, really nice looking quality, very modern, and it is very realistic, as they said. Again, more fabrics, which I am a huge fan of. I actually haven't even looked into finding fabrics or realistic fabrics. They have leaves, arrow markings, road signs. Wow, this, yeah, this is definitely for, for realistic stuff. This looks great. Next up, we have free PBR. So there's a lot of popular PBR uploads. I like that. They're telling us which ones are the popular ones. They have a huge download with over 500 mega pack for 16 bucks, but this is for the free stuff. Of course, we love freebies. So you can search by categories on the right. And yeah, we can just search by, so we can do cloth and fabric. So this is really cool. Sci-fi stuff, I love sci-fi stuff. And I'll just zoom in a bit because it is hard to see. And yeah, everything's just free. I love it. Everything on the site is free unless you get this mega pack stuff, but definitely take a look at it if you do support this type of stuff. Synthetics, nice. I don't think I've seen that on the other sites actually, or I probably just haven't looked for it. 
Next up, we have 3dassets.one. This actually has a bunch of different sites put together, which is really nice. It's not the prettiest website. It's not really the best filtered websites, but you can search for 3D models, HDRIs, different licenses and so on. It is kind of an all in one place, but it's very quick and easy to see everything that's here, which is really nice. I do like how it's pretty compact. Very easy to, for me to just take a glance and already know like, all right, these 50 I don't need and so on. And yeah, just a ton of stuff here. I actually like this. Stylized coins. Wow, that's a new one. And then next up, we have public domain textures, which is free textures for everyone. Um, holy crap. There's even a slider, which is super cool. So they have PBR textures on the right over here and then diffuse only over here. Super cool, super hyper realistic looking. Don't need to worry about licenses. Love how they say that. And then all different types of categories are already shown down here. Food category. And yeah, I'll go ahead and click something like uh, I'll do nature. Very colorful, nice, very nice looking uh, leaves and stuff. Grass textures if you need for your ground. Base, they even have flowers, which is really nice. Pink flowers, green flowers, yellow flowers, so on. And now we have this website with textures called texture.ninja. This is a very unique one as well. So they have textures that are pretty good for, I guess, uh, realistic, pretty rundown areas as well. From what I've seen, they have a lot of decorative stuff as well. Um, so for example, you can see this texture it looks like a hand painted, it says flaked paint. So I guess, cause it's like coming off the walls and stuff, which is actually really cool. You can click the download file to just get it pretty easily like that. There's a ton of stuff like graffitis, dirt, covers, and yeah, just a lot of things. This looks pretty hyper-realistic to me. Looks super nice. Parking signs. These are pretty random, honestly. But yeah, tons of different types of textures that you probably won't find on a lot of other websites. There's just a lot of different types of metals and stuff that I see here that I haven't seen on the other ones. And wow. Yeah, so this one's probably the most unique that I've seen so far. This looks really nice. They have bamboo walls, wooden flooring, wooden walls, and so on. Last but not least, we have the Adobe Substance. They do have free stuff here. There is an add-on or a plugin for, there's a plugin for Unreal Engine to quickly import these into your projects. And they have they have some pretty unique stuff too. So they have wool, they have tire, they have this metamorphosis material, which is pretty cool. Um, They also have bread crust. That's kind of random, homemade bread crust, okay. This plastic glossy pure looks really nice to me. Same with this car, iridescent paint. And they have a bunch of matte stuff, fur, Wow, dirt, steel lamps, <laughs> just a bunch of different textures that you can look through and yeah. And that pretty much covers this tutorial on finding free textures for your game development journey or even just creating movie scenes and so on because of how hyper-realistic these are. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.